how did you get into Minecraft? Well, how did I get into Minecraft? Well, I tried out the game. Uh, that was one way to get into it. But when I first tried out the game, I played on creative mode only. Um, this was back in December of 2011. That's when I really actually sat down and tried playing it. And boy, did I get addicted. <laughs> I was addicted for about a week. Uh, I would come home from school and I'd be like, time to play Minecraft. And then I would play until I had to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I kind of I kind of stopped my addiction. I did a series on this channel. Wait, did I say 2011? I meant 2010. Um, oh no, I did mean 2011. Did I? Yeah, I did mean 2011. Okay. Um, I got I got addicted to it. I built um, I built the forest temple from Zelda. I wish I still had that world. Um, of course, on creative mode. But, uh... I mean, I built the forest temple from Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, and then I built a wrestling arena in another world. Wish I had that. Uh, that I did that on, on a super flat world, and that was before super super flat was even invented. Or, before it was even implemented it into the game. I actually had to download a flat land map. So, yeah, that was something as well. Um, so then I stopped for a while, and then I did a series on my channel that didn't really last too long, so I just stopped doing it. It was Minecraft pixel art. Um, the quality on those videos are, is very bad, because I was on my old computer back then. And I was using a program that, that recorded games at very terrible quality, but it would play the same uh, frames as you would normally play them, if that makes sense. I don't know, it should make sense. Can I get out of this jungle, though, please? Uh, anyways, so yeah, and then... Last summer there was a Minecraft server, which is where I met DJ on, actually, um, called The Crew, um, and Rocky played on there, and he asked me, hey Brandon, do you want do you want to play some Minecraft? And I said, eh, not really, I mean, I'm not really big into it, because at that point I stopped playing for, uh, it was like five months that I didn't play. Um, I said, nah, you know, I'm not really into the game. <laughs> it's not really fun to me. That's what I told him. And he's like, oh, come on, Brandon. Can you just play with me, please? We can be like a, a group together or something. And we can uh, take out people and whatnot. I'm like, all right, fine, Rocky, for you, I will. And so we get on. And I'm still like, ugh. Um, still don't want to play, but Rocky's here forcing me to, pretty much. And, um, we built, like, this base inside of a mountainside. Uh, it was a pretty cool base. I liked it. And then... Ah, jeez. The lag, man. See, this is why I want to get out of here. Why are jungles so big now? For real. <laughs> did they... Okay, I, I, I know they shrink the, the size of oceans, but did they increase the size of jungles? Um, I mean, th this is like I'm walking to freaking uh, new biomes here. Y y you, you would think I was, at least. Ooh, that was beautiful. Wow, that's cool. Holy camoly. That's very cool, actually. Uh, I might have to sleep here. Oh, I can't. S Crap. Oh, my goodness. Alright, let's set up shop here. Please. Alright. So, yeah, I was still thinking to myself, you know, I don't really want to play. This game's boring. 
And then yada yada yada. Then I really got into it. I'm like, oh my god, this game. What have I been missing my whole life? Um, yeah. And that started my addiction that even lasts till this day. Um, last summer, I would spend... There, there'd be times where I would wake up at 10 in the morning, get on the crew server. I'd, I'd play alone for a couple hours, but then Rocky would come on let's say, um, and I would have to do a Skype call with him, so at this point I've been playing for two hours, and then I would get off the server at three in the morning, and just do the same thing the next day, I mean, that's how addicted I was, I was so addicted that I wore out Rocky, who, who, introduced me to the games. I wanted to play with him, you know. I wanted to play with him because he was teaching me a lot of stuff. Um, oh, I got to... Yeah, it was Rocky who got me into the game. And he, you know, he taught me the basics. You know, like how to make swords, pickaxes, uh, all that stuff. I mean, the basics, really. Um, and... If it wasn't for him pressuring me into playing that night, I don't think I would be making Minecraft videos. Simple as that. You know, it's funny. Or it's. Yeah, it's funny to think, like, you know, if I didn't do this or do that, I wouldn't be here right now doing this, you know? Because it's just one little thing that could uh, change your whole life. Where am I at? Holy crap. I'm going to have a fun trip back home. I'm going to have a real fun trip. Um, all right, let's scroll down. Alright. What is your favorite sport? I got a lot of favorite sports, honestly. <laughs> By a lot, I mean two. Um, basketball and football. I said that really weird. Basketball and football. Alright, that sounded a little better in my head. Um, football, I played that all throughout my junior high years and my freshman, sophomore, and junior year of high school. Um, in junior high, I played center, uh, so I snapped the ball to the quarterback, and I also played punter. Um, in high school, I was tight end and defensive end. And, uh, tight end was fun. There was a night I got sent to the hospital. But, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was a, it, it, it was freshman year. It was my freshman year. And I caught the ball and I had to dive for it. So already I'm putting myself in a very bad predicament. And um, I, I had to dive for the ball. So as I'm falling, another player on the other team um, nails me right in my head. Helmet to helmet. My helmet goes flying off. My mouthpiece comes out of my mouth, which is attached to the helmet. And... Um, I was knocked out cold. Yeah. Knocked out cold. Uh, I'm, oh, the only reason why I remember this is because my mom has footage of it. Um, if I can... if it, I think she still has it. If she still does, I'll ask her if I can use it and I'll put it um, in the video for you guys. But, uh... Yeah, so sent to the hospital. Uh, who is your favorite band? Uh, my favorite band is a band called Avenged Sevenfold. They are a rock slash hard rock band. Very unique sound. Um, if you would like to look them up, I would suggest looking up... Uh, if, if, if you're not big into heavy music, um, I'm going to leave these cows. 
if you're not that big into like heavier music, um, I would stay away from their first couple albums. But um, if you want some softer, more unique music, uh, I would start with their album City of Eve. Oh, look at this. <laughs> well, look at that. This has got to be unexplored. Whoa! This is cool. Holy crap. Oh no, I hear. No. Dang it! <laughs> Welp! There's definitely nothing down there now. That's just unfair. That's unfair. No, I'm going down here. I'm checking this out. Did anything survive? Frick. This is cool, though. I like that. Wow. Is there any clay down here? <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot of this. This is amazing. I, I've, I've never seen this before. I think right here would be a good place to take a screen cap of it. Bang. Let's get an actual screenshot of uh, the temple itself. That's cool though. Wow. That's like in, in a plains biome mainly. Yeah, that is. <laughs> It starts in a desert by like it doesn't even start in a desert. Oh right here it starts, okay. It starts right on the edge. If I break into this It's planes right here. Man, that's cool. Although those zombies whatever. They're they suffered a very, very, very painful death. So I'm alright with them doing that. Although you never know what could have been in there, man. Oh well. I'm sure you guys got a kick out of that. <laughs> Anyways, what was I on? Oh yeah, favorite band, um, Event Sevenfold. They're very unique, that's all I can say. My favorite artist though, like as, you know, one person, Eminem, by far. He is amazing at what he does. I don't even care if he's mainstream. He is mainstream for, okay, th this is what I say. Um, if a band or an artist is mainstream, I say, well, they're that for a reason, you know. It's because it's, it's they're good. Because people want to listen to them. Um, that's what I that's what I like to say. Especially, uh, you know, all of the people with swag. You know, they like to listen to their uh, to their underground rappers and and then if you don't. If you don't listen to that, then you don't know what you're talking about, basically. But yeah. I'm not a hipster, okay? I don't want to be a hipster either. Hipsters usually have an IQ of at least, uh, of at least 10. So, I mean, I don't, don't want to be that. Uh, man, my voice is getting sore. I don't even know. How long I've been recording this? Oh, my shovel broke. <laughs> um. Oh. Gimme, 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 gimme everything. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, but my favorite artist is Eminem. Uh, his new album, The Marshall Mathers LP2, very, very good. Has to be his best work in a couple of years. Um, or actually since, I want to say, has to be his best album since the Eminem show back in, uh, what year was it, 2001? I think? can't really remember but it's definitely a very good album 
I gotta get to land so I can sleep. Yeah, this will definitely be at least a two-parter. Uh, I still have a lot of questions too, so might be even more longer than that. Uh, can I sleep? I'm thinking of just exploring the desert, even though um, I'm not gonna find any clay in there because you find a lot of good stuff in the deserts. Like we found a temple, but those zombies. All right. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's uh, make these into clay. Uh huh. <laughs> we got lots of clay. We can even add some more. Bang. All right, um, next question. Uh, I see that you are subscribed to some Minecrackers. Who is your favorite? B double O. B double O is my favorite. He is, he has been an inspiration to me a lot, actually. Um, let me check this really quick. Oh, okay. Both commentary wise sometimes and building wise. Um, his commentary, in my opinion, is some of the best commentary you'll ever come across on YouTube. My opinion. Um, so, I mean, it's it's an inspiration to me, honestly. Uh, it's a big, 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 big inspiration. Uh, you know, this these world errors are really... Uh, they're really getting on my nerves right now. So, oh, that would be someone calling on my phone. I will be right back. All right, so I am back. Um, ten hours later, after getting the phone call, um, wouldn't no in a desert. Oh, that does look dark. Oh, spider gonna die. Oh, I hear beta the pods. Mm. All right. Anyways, up oh, here's the rain. <laughs> We're in a river right now. Actually, let's look underwater. Anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay, keep on walking. Um, where did I leave off? Where did I leave off at? Um... All right. <clears throat> what is your favorite thing about Minecraft? Um, honestly, my favorite thing about Minecraft is... Ooh, village! Oh my gosh, this has got to be unexplored too, and hopefully there's a blacksmith. Oh my god! Yep, this is this is unexplored. Mm-hmm. Blacksmith, please. Yes! Alright, let's go take a look at this before I answer the question. Eh, it's not anything too special. Actually, take the boots. And the pickaxe, I guess. Oh, no. Oh my god, these doors. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, favorite thing about Minecraft is just the endless amount of fun. You know? I mean, honestly, you can do so much in the game. Um,. Whether it's building, adventuring, doing stuff with friends, um, in my opinion, the game can get boring playing alone. Okay, I mean that's a given. Ooh. Oh, um, that's a given there. But when you're playing on a server, it just feel <laughs> it just feels like a whole different game. You know, um, it's just it's just the endless amounts of fun and the un and there's no store is that it what is that oh okay that, that looked like a spawner oh wow lucky fall it look, look, looked like a spawner from a distance I don't, <coughs> I don't know why um but yeah so unlimited uh, unlimited amount of stuff that you can do 
Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next question. What other games do you play besides Minecraft? Um, I play a lot of platforming games. Uh, Mario games, definitely. Um, I play also a lot of sports games. Uh, mainly NBA 2K and Madden. I've always been a big fan of sports games, so I mean, that's why I still play them, obviously. Um, but yeah, I do play a lot of, like, I play um, lots of Mario, big fan of Mario, all the games, I love them. Um, oh, that was some hardcore lag. Um, all of the games, I love them. Um, play a lot of Zelda, have beat almost every single Zelda except for Skyward Sword. Still got to get on that. <laughs> but I haven't touched my Wii since the summer when we did, or when I did Mario Kart Wii live streams with my friends. Um, the last Mario Kart Wii live stream we actually had was back in June. So, and my Wii has stayed in the same place. <laughs> so, uh, I mean... Um... Why don't you do any more booby games? I get this all the time. People telling me, hey, do more games with hot anime chicks in it. Why don't you do more? I don't want to. Okay. The only the only one that I will do is Uncraft Me. And I and I, and I will say this, okay? I was talking to the creator of the game, and Uncraft Me 2 will be coming out at the end of or um I shouldn't say at the end. It will be coming out this month. Just saying. And I will be doing a series on it as soon as it gets released. So, but other than that, I don't want to do any more booby games because, honestly, it just risks my channel being suspended. Um, sure, it brings in a lot of views and subscribers, but I'd rather have my channel than a bunch of views and subs. That's all I'm saying. Um... Let's move on. Where do you work? I'm surprised I got this question because I talk about where I work quite a bit. Um, work at Walmart. I'm a cart pusher there. It is not the best job in the world, but it is a job. <laughs> it's definitely not something that I want to do permanently. Um, I'm going to get this out of my inventory. I don't need it. It's definitely not something that I want to do permanently, forever. So why would I want to do that? Um, it's not even something I want to do in the next couple months. Especially with winter coming, because that's like, okay. What that will do to the carts is that it will freeze the cart wheels, and I'll actually be forced to drag the carts in to the building. Right now, um, I could take about... 15 carts. I'm only supposed to take 10 in at a time, but honestly, I can handle 15. Um, I probably push in about 4,000 carts a day. <laughs> I mean, I may live in a smaller city, but still pretty darn big. Um, still pretty popular. Walmart's still Walmart. Um, Gotta sleep. I need to. Um, but yeah, a job is a job. Um, oh yeah, I also mentioned I only get paid seven twenty-five an hour for all the work I do. Yet cashiers they get paid seven forty-five. I want to say. Um, overnight stockers get paid like ten fifty. Um, I applied just recently to become that or get a interview for being an overnight stalker. Oh, let's get into my bid. And I'll also get rid of the rain. So that's nice. Hey! Um, anyways. Ooh, I hear... I hear Skelly already. Ooh! <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, is that a... Oh, no, no, that's just lava and water. Okay. 
Gosh, how low will this take us? Wow, that's cool. I love... Oh, we probably shouldn't go down here. We're not going to get anything, really. Uh, let's just stay clear of this, I guess. If I can get up. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a fun job. Actually, it can be fun. Um, when you have a co-worker on that, that you're great friends with and you enjoy working with, um, then it can be a lot of fun. But, I mean, if you're working alone, then it's just old. Especially when you get pissy customers. Um, what? What the hell? Wait, wait, why am I drowning? Uh, I had air. I don't know why I was doing that. Fix your game, did a bone? Uh, but yeah. Not the best job in the world, but it is a job, and I got, and that's all I say to myself. It's a job. I'm lucky to have a job. That's, that's what I say to myself all the time. Um, the only bad thing about the job, really, is well, a couple bad things. I mean, we only get paid seven twenty-five an hour for the back-breaking labor that we do. Um, every customer um, will say, "You guys deserve to be paid more." Quite frankly, I agree with that. Um, after I leave this place, um, I'm going to have a whole different kind of respect for cart pushers. And to be honest, like when I finish doing my shopping, I'm going to take the cart right back into the store no matter how far I'm parked. Rain, rain or snow, or warm or cold. Because I have a whole nother respect for cart pushers after this job. Um... And I hope uh, people, you know, who go to who go to their local Walmart or or a store where it's busy and I mean there's actually a position where it's just cart pushing. Um, hope you guys uh, respect cart pushers a little more because our job is backbreaking labor, and I mean that. I'm in pain all the time. Um, it's hard for me to even walk at times. Um, and it's definitely hard to find the energy to record sometimes. But, hey, I still manage it, so... Uh